Hello everyone and welcome back to the last episode of the evolution of music playing machines throughout history. I am Bethany Jacobson and today we'll be talking about music streaming applications and more specifically we'll be talking about Pandora, Spotify, and Apple Music. These aren't currently the most popular ones. Um, Pandora has definitely become less and less popular over the years, but Pandora was the f one of the first music streaming apps, which is why I wanted to talk about it. Um, but Spotify and Apple Music are still very popular right now. And the unique thing about this era is that it is currently happening right now. This era isn't over yet. It's been happening since the early 2000s, and music streaming apps have been evolving, and there's been brand new ones released. Um, one of the most newest ones is YouTube Music, which has become very popular. Um, Amazon Music has also become popular. So. It's an era that is still being worked in and developed in. So the first app that we'll talk about is Pandora Music, which was invented in 2000. It wasn't actually released until 2005, but it was invented by Will Glaser, Tom Graft, and Tim Westergren. The company was originally founded as Savage Beast Technologies, and then the name changed to Pandora Media in 2005 when it was released. In 2011, Pandora went public because of an offering from the New York Stock Exchange, and in 2013, Pandora reached 200 million users. The way Pandora works is by letting you create kind of like radio stations based on what songs, artists, and genres you like. The app then plays songs that are similar or related to what you like. To use Pandora is actually free, but if you want to get a subscription, which is about 5 to $10 a month, you get unlimited skips, unlimited replays, and ad-free listening. Otherwise, the free version, you only get, I think it's like five skips, and you don't get to replay anything, and you usually have to listen to an ad between every couple of songs. Um, but the subscription does not allow you to pick which song that you actually want to listen to, So, which most streaming apps invented after this time do, so that's kind of the downfall of Pandora. And then in 2020, Pandora only had 58 million users, which is quite a big decrease since 2013, and their numbers have been steadily decreasing since 2016. So Pandora is not the preferred um, streaming application anymore for music. Other applications have definitely taken the, the front runner on that, um, but Pandora was kind of the first in its field of establishing this idea of having an application where you can stream your music from. Now we'll talk about Spotify. Um, Spotify was invented in 2006 by Daniel Ek and Martin Lorenzon. These were um, Swedish inventors. They started it as a Swedish music service when it was launched in 2008. Um, the reason they developed Spotify was because they were trying to fight back the growing piracy problem in the music industry. And the problem was that people didn't want to pay for every song that they wanted to listen to, so a lot of people would just download them illegally. And so um, Daniel and Martin created Spotify to help fix that. The way Spotify works is by paying a monthly fee between 5 to $10 for ad-free access to 70 million songs. Um, to actually download Spotify is free, so you can use it as a free application. You just have to listen to ads, and you can't skip songs. You also can't choose the specific song you want to listen to. You just have to put it on a shuffle. Spotify users like the application because of how personable it is. You can make your own personalized playlists with whichever songs you'd like. And they also like how easy it is to discover new music. Um, Spotify makes a lot of playlists of, like, your Discover Weekly, and they, like, make their own personalized new music ideas based on music you like and they give it to you so you can discover new music. Um, and users can also listen to podcasts through the app, which Spotify has actually become very popular for listening to podcasts. So it's not just exclusively a music streaming application anymore, it's more of a media streaming application, but they still do primarily do music streaming. And Spotify currently has 381 million users worldwide, with 158 million of those being premium users who pay for the application. So Spotify is definitely a very popular music streaming app, and 
the only big competitor that they have right now is Apple Music, which we will talk about next. And finally, we'll talk about Apple Music, which was launched in 2015. It was launched by Apple, but the two main people to credit are Oliver Schusser and Brian Bunbury. Apple Music became Spotify's biggest competitor when it was released. Um, Apple used a similar idea that Spotify used and created an app that allows you to s listen to over 90 million songs. So it had about 20 million more songs than Spotify has. And again, you have to pay a fee. It's 5 to $10 per month. But there is no free option for Apple Music. They do free trials, but I believe after the trial ends, you have to pay the monthly fee. Apple Music also provides three different radio services that is free to the users. Uh, one of the benefits to Apple Music is that it syncs with the user's songs that have already been downloaded on their iTunes. It kind of like links the two in an iCloud. The user is allowed to make personable playlists like the same way that Spotify does. Um, but Apple Music also offers music videos and song lyrics on the app. So they have a little bit of an advantage there. And Apple Music currently has 660 million paying subscribers worldwide. So they are definitely leading the field in music streaming apps. One thing that Apple Music does not have that Spotify does is the podcasts. Apple has a whole separate application for podcasts called Apple Podcasts. So that is one of the biggest differences is that Apple Music is exclusively music, music videos, and some radio stations, whereas Spotify has more media coverage. Alright, that is going to be it for music streaming apps, and this is the end of the series. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.